Hi everybody, it's Julie and I'm back and I am taking care of those white pages that were in the front and back. This is the Victorian, or not Victorian, the 1800, 1800s ladies single signature journal that I am making. And um, so what I did was I took one of the pages from either the front or the back. This would be the back page probably. And I have stitched it and made a large pocket. And I'm going to come back and um, rip this edge also, probably. So there's that. And now I'm on this side. I'm going to move this out of the way because I don't want to get any glue on any of that. And I have taken the other page and I've cut it to fit. And I am just going to glue it down. So... I'm going to glue it and <laughs> okay. okay, so I'm just gluing it down, whoops, gluing it down, and then I have Okay, so looks like over here I'm going to need to cut a little bit or we're not going to have a good fold. And I'm going to need to cut a little bit here across the top. It just didn't quite fit. Almost, but not quite. Okay, so there I have glued. This one's glued down. This one is a large pocket. This is the center of our signature with the tuck space and lots of journaling area there. Large pocket. Okay, so I have this same, um, and I'm going to put this in. I think it is fitting for... Um, for this particular journal. I'm going to go ahead. Oh boy. It's like this is a hard decision. Um, I'm going to cut the. I'm going to cut this off. And leave it with just the same. Because. Uh, it doesn't look right. First of all. Let's go with the right side of the page. Because. And I can use this in something else. So, um, okay. So I don't think I'm going to use that on. I am going to use this in this book, but I think I may come back and put it down here with the girl and use it on the front front page. So. Um, yeah, so there, but, 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 with that, these pages are no longer stark white, um, except that this one needs to be, got a thread right there, can't make it, can't, can't rip through the thread. And I'm a, when all else fails, rip it. <laughs> yeah, I like that very much. Okay, but I like the rip coming from this angle because I don't want to see the white. Okay, so what I did here is I made the ripped... This, this piece is smaller than, um, than the other one. Okay, but we've got some white right here, so I'm going to fix that. I'm going to turn it over and re-rip right there. Wow, surprising how... It... There we go. 
Okay. So there we go. Okay, so we need to go ahead. We have a couple more pages that need something amazing done to them. We probably should do something here or here. Um, Want to do the tuck spot here. And okay, that's going to go up. Okay, so um, one of the things I think, let me see if I have it over here. I think we can do a belly band. I would want to use, when I do a belly band, I like to do it on scrapbook paper because it's thicker and it holds better. So I could do it on this one or on this one. I think I'm going to go here because we want to be able to hold something. Um, okay, so we'll take this. paper clip so I don't lose my spot <laughs> okay and then we're gonna come over here and I'm just gonna sew this on now I can I'll glue it and sew it okay um, not with glue I'm gonna wow maybe glue there Okay. Go ahead and glue that down. Turn it over and cut off course we could you know what before I cut off the top one I'm gonna see if I can make the Martha Stewart punch go across um, the bottom one not so much because one of the things I found with um, paper ribbon on the bottom of a book is it does buckle up and it does doesn't it doesn't stay nice so um, yeah so I wanted to add a belly band that's another way to um, decorate a page and especially a page that has um, has no place really to write and then we can just add a couple of pages underneath it so just like that and then we can possibly decorate the front of the belly band and that makes a great page. So, so if we come over here and put two to two, okay? And then we can go ahead and try. I will take these out. Oh, don't want to do that. That would be bad. Okay, make sure that they're evened up. Okay, kind of like that. It actually ate into the paper, but I, I actually like it. I'm like, okay, yeah, that's kind of going to be cool. We'll come over here and... I'm cutting around a couple of the little circles to finish the lace off. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. Finish the... There we go. So, then from the... You might actually see that little tiny bit of lace at the top, and I like that. Okay, so there's our belly band. 
Okay, like it very much. Yep, yep. Could be a little tighter. Probably shouldn't have put the things in it until after it dried. Got me drying. Okay, well, it'll just have a couple fat things in it. Okay. So, that, that, that. I'm very sorry. That's going to get something, something. Okay, so we wanted a tuck spot. This is going to have this. If we go with something that kind of goes like this, that will give some strength to this page. A little bit. Um, okay, we have the wrapping paper, but that in itself is not going to do it. So let's see, what do I have that would be strong? Um, well, you know what? We can use this, um, this or... I can I can get another one of these and it can be the base for it. Oh come on. Gotta have one more. One more. That's one. There it is. Okay, so it can be the base for it. And then then um I lost my train of thought. Choo choo. That's the train. Um base for it. So, let's see. So what I'm doing is I'm just measuring and I'm going to make a square out of this paper. And it will be the base and it will give the wrapping paper some strength. And so we'll just go ahead and cut this. Okay, and then we've got a really pretty little piece that we'll be able to use later. And we're going to make a tuck spot. Okay, but you'll still be able to write on it. It'll still be able to open up. So this is the tuck spot. It's going to go on here, but at the same time, then you're also going to get, let's see... Put the. Be awesome if I could put the that card that I wanted to put on. Yep, that's what's going on here. Okay. Sorry about that. Um. Okay, and this is actual wrapping paper that came. I mean. It's been, been used. Okay, like this, like this. Okay. Put it around the wrapping paper. I like this because right here it's got the date, uh, May 20th, 1884. So I liked, I liked that. Okay, let's get 
some of these things off the table. And we'll go ahead and put some glue down. The easiest way to do this because I because I want a specific part to show up on this. Well, for one thing, you gotta hold the top down. If you don't have the top on the glue and you're using the bottom, you gotta you gotta hold the top down. Okay. There we go. Okay, now come over. We are at the crease. Okay. Main thing I wanted to show up is I wanted this postcard here to show up. And it will. nicely along right along the edge and right along the edge um, you'll notice I didn't use any ledger paper I didn't have any coffee dyed so I need to need to add that to my my list of things I need to do so I need to coffee dye some Ledger paper. So I'm just um, trimming these edges out. I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on this piece of wrapping paper. Okay. I'm going to remember to <laughs> put my finger on the top because I forgot to do that again. Put the glue in the thing. And I'm just putting this down because I thought the folded edge would look much nicer than just um, an edge. So I've done it and I've got the, the date in there. Okay. Um, now we'll come over and put it onto this page and it will flip up and have a place to write underneath it as well as being a tuck spot. So I'm going to go ahead and that ended up almost, almost the perfect, I mean it is perfect, but it's like almost the exact I'm going across and I'm putting the glue so that it's on the thread here because remember we did the zigzag stitch and I want to make sure that this is going to stay. Okay, so there we go. We have a tuck spot. Pull, pull this out, put it over here, pull this out, put it over here, so that we can work with this and not have it ruin anything. Could have, should have just gone ahead and sewn it again, really. vellum is curling a 
little. Okay, so what we'll do is lay this and push it so we can get this to straighten out. I'm just going to keep and keep pushing this down. Okay, so we did a belly band and we've done this tuck spot. I showed you um, using the the papers from the, the original book to uh, make the large pocket and to cover the other white paper. And so that is what we're going to do for this particular episode. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, put them down below. We are still got a little more to do to have this um, book be ready. And um, now I think I may, well, we'll see. I was going to say I might go ahead and uh, cut down this music paper, but I don't think it's going to matter because it's, it's as big as the, the front and the back, so it's probably going to be fine. Come back and check this again. Make sure we're we're where we're supposed to be with this. And yeah, so this was wrapping paper, actual wrapping paper that a gift came in and the wrapping paper was so cool, I saved it. Who does that? <laughs> Oh my gosh, we had a party at Christmas time with our um, CERT, or, CERT organization, our community emergency response team. And um, we had the party here at our house. And I, um, one of the, the packages was wrapped in the coolest paper. Like, the coolest paper. And I was like, I wanted to keep it. <laughs> I didn't get to. One had lighthouses on it. it was really pretty. Okay, so I'm just um, lining it up a little bit. There's going to be some other, other stuff's going to have to happen, I think, but... at least get it so that no white is showing we can do that okay so there is our tech page and let's see so these go inside of it remember we've got our envelope is the page next to that and over here there we go it is coming together I do like to do this kind of work before I um, bind the book so we want to oh wow I really like that I really like that okay now we're going to leave it up so that it doesn't glue to itself So here's one side, and here's the other side, and this side has the pocket. <coughs> you know what, how far does this decoration go in this envelope? It goes all the way down. I might come back with something, do something there. Cause it's really pretty okay so that's what we've got so far what do you think I think it's coming along quite well how is our book doing our book is still drying um, this is real time I'm doing these videos they so far they have been one right after the other um, so 
Yeah, so the book, the music paper is going to have to get cut down, and it looks like possibly, um, well, these this one can get some lace on it. We've got to put some lace, and that'll sew this on. So that might be be cool. This one needs to stay the way it is. So um, this can be cut down, no problem. So there you go. That is where we're at. I'm going to put the book back so it can continue to dry. And I hope you join us on the next one as we continue to make our 1800s using the Nevermore Creations um, fashion 1800s Fashionistas, I believe is what she's calling them. And I'm going to be adding these to this book. And it's, I think it's coming quite, coming along quite well. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, put them down below. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe and have an amazing day. Bye.